medieval era was full of great deal of pain and misery. Some of that was due to poverty and some to disease, but much of it came down to the fact that human beings can be incredibly sadistic at times. There are many tortures that were popular in the Middle Ages, but none so feared as being stretched on a rack. A contraption that features a person laying on a table attached to ropes that pull on their limbs. The rack caused untold suffering throughout Europe. Many people, including those from the ranks of the Knights Templar, were maimed using this device. Massive piles of limbs were collected over the years from all those who fell under the rack's destructive power. Sometimes the rack would be used to force confessions or information out of unlucky people, but to many the idea of the rack was far more powerful than actually being subjected to it. Seeing the device in action could be a far more effective means of interrogation than experiencing it yourself. Once you're strapped onto a rack, your limbs aren't going anywhere. With each turn, they stretch farther and farther apart. Either your mind or your body will break first. But when your body does break, it happens in a series of horrifying stages. First, your limbs dislocate, which means your bones pop out of their joints. You'll know when this happens when you hear a loud crack. Everything is technically still attached, but you'll have a very tough time moving from this point forward. While it was common practice to dislocate the limbs of someone on the rack, things could get much, much worse for those being tortured. Typically, rack torture was a drawn-out affair. After all, just throwing the device into high gear would end things pretty quickly. Eventually, it could get so bad that limbs would be completely torn from their sockets. This means your arm would be completely ripped off your torso. After that happened, odds are you'll bleed out pretty quickly. Luckily for you, at that point, your torture knew that you weren't going to give them what they wanted and decided to kill you. Much of the time, racks were used when torturers wanted something out of their victim. It could be information, a confession, or a conversion, but torturers would do everything they could to achieve their goals. That included adding some extra torture to what was already a most horrible torture of the time. One of these lovely additions was tearing out the finger and toenails of the person being tortured. The pain must have been terrible, assuming they could still feel their hands and feet. In addition to stretching your limbs to the point of being torn out, torturers would spice things up by adding flames. Some of the time, they would use a torch. Other times, the torturer would use a burning candle on their victims and thus a fetish was born, not to mention causing the suffering of many victims for hundreds of years. The rack is essentially a system of ropes and pulleys, which is why it's so effective at having the required force to tear off a person's limbs. Because people in the medieval times were awful, they saw all the turning bits of a rack and thought, how can we make these more painful? The answer of course was to add spikes, as the wheels on the bottom turn, the spikes dig into your back and spinal cord. So, if the damage to your limbs didn't paralyze you, the damage to your spine would. Even if your joints weren't dislocated and your limbs weren't torn from their sockets, there's a good chance you'll be completely crippled for the rest of your life. The reason is that prolonged time in a rack can tear your muscles and nerves apart. So, even if you never actually lose your limbs, that doesn't mean you'll be able to use them when your torture is over. If they do let you go, you'd still essentially be a quadriplegic. For a device that was invented during medieval times, the rack was actually a very precise instrument. The way the ropes are secured around your hands and feet mean that the torturer can stretch you exactly as much as they intend to. That means that at any given point, you're in the precise amount of pain that someone else wants. Whether that pain is a mere sting, or the feeling that your arms are about to pop out, it's up to the guy turning the gears. 